Hi guys, my name is Jenna if you guys are new here and welcome to my official apartment tour. You guys, I've been living here for almost say like nine months now and I love this place so much this is my first time ever living alone I live in Arlington Virginia for any of you guys that are curious and I'm showing you guys officially my apartment tour because I think that everything in my apartment is done in terms of decorating and furnishing and everything besides one thing and I'll wait until the very end to tell you guys that but for now I know that you guys have been waiting for this literally ever since I moved in last summer so welcome to this video welcome to the apartment tour let's tell you guys some logistics about my apartment and then I'll give you guys my full tour my apartment is a junior one bedroom as they call it and I think that basically that means it's a studio den my apartment is 574 square feet and there is a bedroom but there's no window in the bedroom to like the outside world there's a sliding door instead of like an opening and close lock door and there's a window in the bedroom but the window is to the living room and not to like the outside world so that's kind of what makes this apartment a junior one bed but honestly it just feels like a one bed to me I live alone I don't really need that much space and I can't wait to show you guys how I've like styled everything I'll give you like the whole logistics and an entire walkthrough so we're gonna switch views and you guys are gonna be me and I'm gonna show you guys my place and everything that I see and then at the very end I'll go over any like styling or furnishing tips or challenges that I went through and then the last thing that I really wish I had that I don't. So I would say this apartment is like 99.9% .9 complete. I think that's everything in terms of logistics for my apartment. If you guys want to see the full tour, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is my front door. If you just turn around, here is what you see when you enter the apartment. So on the right, we have my coat closet. On the left, immediately, we have my bathroom, my bedroom, and then the overall living area. So let's just start from the very beginning. When you open the door on the left, I have this little corner that says, stay a while this is kind of like the best that I could do in terms of my entry area I just have the wall decor here this is from my last apartment I got this on Etsy everything also I will link below in the description box for you guys you guys are always asking me where I get certain things in my apartment and so here's just your one video to have every single thing in my apartment linked in the description box I have this bowl here that holds all of my masks and then this tray is from Amazon and then the entire table itself is from HomeSense I got this for a really good deal this was like $50 and I just think it it looks very chic and I love the gold accents the black accents this is kind of like the theme that I have for my entire apartment so I love this so much this is so so nice you know I think in a perfect world I would have something a little bit taller because that's where the door handle is but I think this works perfectly fine this bowl is from home goods too and yeah this is the entryway area and then on the left here is my bathroom. I just think it's so beautiful. The bathroom is honestly like what sold me in terms of wanting to live at this apartment in the first place. We have this huge LED mirror, which is so, so nice. I love this mirror so much. It just feels very luxurious and it's very bright. It's very like neutral toned and I just love it so much. I have this tray that I got from Home Goods, and I kind of like it just because I wanted to do like a whole minimal style for my apartment and I wanted to keep that true in the bathroom. So on this tray, I have kind of everything that I need. I have my hand soap, my face wash, toothpaste, toothbrush this is my boyfriend's toothbrush i have some body lotion and body serum from necessaire i love this stuff in the back i have some face masks from innisfree and then in this little canister i have all of my daily floss picks so that's everything on the tray i like it because it just gathers everything all in one place on the other side of the sink i just have some decor this is from kendall's candles from instagram i'll link it below for you guys she makes everything in her apartment it's woman-owned small business and just everything is so cute here so i love the little decor on the right and all of the function on the the left I have these salt lamp night lights I like having this on at night just because I know that salt lamps purify your entire air and space but also if I ever have to go to the bathroom at night I just like having this on and I don't need to turn on the light and like wake myself up because this is so bright I just have this on and it does the trick for me so that's my bathroom area and then we just have my typical toilet and everything here I don't need to explain any of this to you guys these hand towels are from Target I love these because they're just like a bright white and if they ever 
get dirty, I just throw them in the wash. I've never had any issues with staining or anything. I just have some flushable wipes, candle, matches. I have some stuff from Lush from my best friend Catherine. I have a toilet cleaner and then I have a scale. All this stuff. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond if you guys were curious. I like how slim and modern it is. I have a step trash bin also from Home Goods, and then my bath mats. This one is from Target. I love this one so much because it's memory foam and it's machine washable. So even though it's white, I've honestly never had issues with it being too dirty or anything. I love it so much. I just love how much it brightens up the area. And then my friend Jess, she gifted this for me. She has a YouTube channel too. I will link it below. This is from her friend's small business, Minim. And I like it because it's a stone bath mat. So when I come out of the shower, it just automatically absorbs all of the water. And I just think it looks really cool and minimal too. I love it. I have a command hook here. And this is where I keep my towel because in this apartment, the only towel rack was on the back of the door. And I wanted something to grab my towel like right when I get out of the shower. So this is a command hook. I have my towel towel and then just my overall shower. This shower curtain is from Target. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I just think it's actually the cutest, most chic, but modern, but homey shower curtain. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. It's like this dark green, but it feels like black. It's so pretty. Just a typical shower liner. And then this is kind of how my shower area looks. I just have an over the shower head organizer and then all of my shower stuff. So that is the whole bathroom. Let's exit the bathroom. Goodbye. On the other side of my bathroom, we have my coat closet and I'm just exposing myself. This is actually how it looks on a daily basis. Like I said, you guys, this apartment is 574 square feet. So I really just have to do my best in terms of storage and stuff. And this is like the biggest closet that I have. So this is where all of the extra storage stuff goes. All of my coats, my boyfriend's coats, all of my shoes. I have two of these vertical shoe organizers, which really come in handy. Cause like, if you look at it, like look at how many shoes this holds, it's crazy. And then I also have these handy hooks that hold all of your bags. If you look closely, it's like a bag organizer. And I also think this is really helpful just because I obviously have a lot of bags and I just like making the best use of my vertical space in my coat closet. So I would definitely recommend the bag hangers and the shoe hangers. They're just really, really useful. And then all of my heavy coats and stuff are in here. I have some extra toiletries and just extras at the top. And then in this bin and everything else is where I keep all of my like extra blankets and towels and stuff for guests. I have my air mattress in the corner and just some extra reusable bags and then at the very bottom I have some extra shoes and in the corner I have my vacuum, my Swiffer, and then in the very back if you look closely this is my drying rack that I use for all my clothes that I hand dry or air dry I mean. So that's my closet. Goodbye. And then if we move forward a little bit here is my in-unit washer and dryer. I think that this is just such a necessity having an in-unit washer dryer, especially in Arlington, Virginia, almost every single apartment has that. So it's just kind of a necessity to me. It makes the rent a lot more worth it. On the right side of my in-unit washer dryer, I have this over the door shoe organizer that I ended up actually just using as like a cleaning organizer. And I love this so much. If I'm ever using the dryer, I typically just have the door open to let the air circulate and everything. But again, making the most use of your vertical space is so helpful, especially when you're in a very small space. So I actually put this together with you guys in a moving vlog. I'll link my moving playlist and everything below because I took you guys along this whole entire road and journey of living alone and furnishing my apartment. So, and then also this is from Target. I forget if I mentioned that or not. Once you close the laundry area, this is just the electrical door. It's locked, so I can't even open it at all. So we're just gonna zoom right by it. This is my bedroom. Oh my God, look how pretty my bedroom is, you guys. But anyways, like I said, I wanted to keep my bedroom as minimal as possible just because even though I do live alone, it's a very small space. And honestly, since I don't spend too much time in the bedroom just because there's no actual window or anything, that's the living room. So since I can never really see the outside, I don't spend that much time in here anyways. So I just kind of did what I could. I don't have a headboard. I just like how minimal and everything it is. I do think that this rug made the bedroom a lot more homey and feel a lot more just cozy. This rug is from Rugs USA and then my bed frame is from Amazon. My nightstands are from Wayfair and then my sconces are from Amazon. I put these together in a moving vlog with you guys too. I love them just because I feel like it looks extremely modern and minimal and like expensive, but they were actually just like $40 per light, I'm pretty sure. On the left side of my bed, you have two of my closets. This is where I keep all of my clothes 
and I'll just show you guys how everything looks. My boyfriend ended up putting two extra hooks on the door just because once he started staying with me more often, he just kind of wanted to leave some stuff here. But this shelving unit came with the apartment. It was so handy. In an ideal world, I probably would get like bins to keep all of my clothes, but honestly, I've lasted all of this time without it and it just feels like kind of wasted money if I get it. Maybe in my new apartment next year, I'll do that. But for now, this works perfectly fine. I just have all of my clothes, my workout stuff, my thicker sweatshirts and stuff. I do have these two plastic organizers. Those are both from Target and this is just where I keep all of my like underwear, socks, my laundry hamper. And yeah, that's what this side of the closet looks like. And then if you close this and open my other closet, this is more clothes that I don't wear on an everyday basis, but more so like my actual like going out and work outfits. So all my like loungewear and workout stuff is closest to the door. But on this side, I have my like button downs, my sweaters, my stuff that I would wear to work, stuff that I'd wear to like nice dinners and things. And then on the bottom, these are more of like fun clothes. So clothes that I would go out in or like crop tops and stuff. And then on the right side, I have some heels and I just have like my longer stuff here. Thomas, my boyfriend left some stuff here, but I have all of my pants, my dresses, and just like fancy clothes all in the back, so. That's what the other side of the closet looks like. On the bottom, I just have all of my extra like bags. So I have my backpack, I have a gym bag, I have my weekender bag, and I just kind of keep all of that in my closet on the floor. And then just some extra storage at the bottom. Realistically, that's how my closet looks. I think it's the best that I could do with it for having such a small space. On the other side of the bedroom, I have my media console. And this is kind of more so just like a storage area for my apartment. I ideally, if I had more natural light, I would want to put a mirror right there. But since I have like barely any natural light in this room, I just didn't see a point to have a mirror here. So it's just very minimal and I have all the stuff here as I needed. <laughs> I have my body lotion from Coco Kind here because I use this like every single night. I have my favorite glasses and sunglasses and then I just have this overall jewelry organizer. I got this from Facebook Marketplace, but I believe originally it was from West Elm. I have this jewelry organizer. This is just all of my like everyday jewelry and stuff. This I got from a FabFitFun box. And then if you open up the media console, technically this is supposed to be for a record player, but I just keep all of my makeup in here too because I used to have a very big obsession with <laughs> makeup palettes and everything and just makeup in general. So I like to keep my makeup here when I need it and it's just really easy to get out. So that's what's on the top. And then if you open these sliding doors, I have more like books and journals and stuff and makeup brushes and then on the other side it's just shelves and this is where Thomas my boyfriend keeps a lot of his stuff so I love this media console I think it's just absolutely stunning it's also from Amazon which is insane and I built this with you guys too I built this all on my own and it was really hard but I think it's absolutely stunning. Okay, and that is the entire bedroom. So this is what I mean about the sliding door too. There's no actual door. It's just like a sliding door to open and close the bedroom. And like I said, since I live alone, it's never really been a problem for me. I don't really need to close it unless I'm sleeping anyways. So this is just, this is how the bedroom looks. Even though there's no overhead lighting, there is this light that came with the apartment too. The one at the top that just kind of turns it on and off. I do like it. I don't really think I needed it per se because my sconces do everything that it needs to. But I do think that it's useful to know that there was some sort of lighting in the bedroom because most apartments don't even have any overhead lighting. Okay, so that's the bedroom. Once you leave the bedroom, we have my kitchen area. This is my fridge and my like little Polaroid wall. This is where I keep all pictures of like people that have visited me. I love this because even though it's not very modern, I just think it makes my fridge very homey and my apartment in general very homey and it's just honestly a lot of memories that I like to keep on here so this is my fridge but in general my entire kitchen area is all right here like this is literally everything in terms of my kitchen so I do think I was challenged in terms of my storage it actually had a lot more storage than I imagined because these skinny cabinets actually go pretty deep so I store a lot of things here and then at the bottom to my noodles and stuff this is really the only counter space that I have with this apartment in a perfect world I would want a kitchen island but I really wanted to keep the apartment in general just very open concept and feel as big as it could because it's only 575 square feet so this is the only 
only counter space that I have. It's definitely a big challenge and obstacle living here when I'm cooking because this is kind of the only preparation area when I am cooking, but just wanted to mention that. At the top here, I have all of my like useful kitchen appliances. I have my pill organizer, my kettle. I just have like our typical snacks. I have my Echo Dot toasters from Amazon. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is where I keep all of my like olive oil and stuff another salt lamp nightlight from Amazon, and then this knife set is also from Amazon. These cabinets at the bottom is where I keep all of my like kitchen storage. So I have like my caraway pans, my mini rice cooker, and then just extra Tupperware and stuff in general. I did put another hook on the inside here to keep my, my oven mitts and stuff. So I like that for extra storage. And then when you open up my cabinets at the top, this is where I have all of my extra storage and stuff and like my utensils. So I love this apartment because it's all like soft touch. So, I, so it's really nice because I can just kind of like slam the doors close and they won't make a large noise. In this cabinet, I just have all of my bowls and my cups and my mugs. Nothing really special here. This is my oven. I have my Le Creuset. I got this as a gift from my friends Simon and Elise when I moved in here. I have this electric stove and then at the bottom is where I keep all of my like baking trays and cutting boards. This washable mat is from Target. I really like it just because there's like sticky side on the bottom so it never really slides around or anything. I just like having a rug in general below the sink because I think it's really useful and then there's no like water that gets around everywhere and stuff. But here's my little sink area. I have my frother or my mixer that I use for like all of my greens and stuff. I got this from Amazon. This is from Home Goods, I believe. And then this paper towel holder my mom just gave me from home. So that's kind of the sink area. At the top, I have this beautiful display area where I keep my frequently used plates and bowls. The entire set in general is so beautiful because it's like this speckled stoneware. I think it's really, really nice. It's from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then I have my wine glasses and tall glasses at the top. My sister got those for me for my birthday. Those are from Janet Gwen. And then those wine glasses are from HomeSense. They're kind of like a dupe of the Crate and Barrel ones. Below my sink is where you'll see all of my like cleaning supplies and my trash can. So if you notice, since I live alone and I don't have much space in this apartment, I just have this really small trash bin that I keep in my cabinet and I just take out my trash every single night. In a perfect world, this would be a little bit bigger, but I just didn't realize how small it was when I got it. But in general, I just like having my trash underneath my sink so that it's not taking up any space. I have some extra cleaning supplies and then I just have all of my extra like recycling bags and stuff. And then on the right side, this towel holder is from Amazon and it's really nice because it just sticks on the inside of the door. And it's where I keep all of my extra towels and like my cleaning gloves and stuff. So yeah, that's everything below the sink. To the left, I have my secret or hidden dishwasher. I really like it just because it looks like a cabinet. So it just it's just less of an eyesore, which I really like. And then I have my microwave and my overall pantry area. This is kind of how realistically everything looks. So that's all of my kitchen stuff. Those are all of my cabinets and everything. And then here is technically what my apartment complex called a desk area for people that were like working from home or anything. But I ended up just using it as a little drink coffee area. So on the left, I have my Nespresso and my pod holder. This is just a cookie jar from Bed Bath & Beyond. I have this print that says coffee till wine. I made this with my friend Jackie. Her name is Aesthetics Frames on Instagram. I'll link that below for you guys. And then on the right side here, I mainly have like alcohol related things but my boyfriend does like to make coffee from time to time so he uses that and then I have this grocery list from Taipei Lee. That's kind of how everything is looking on the coffee area. I have this mirror here. This is from my old apartment. I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was really nice. I think it was only like 40 or 50 dollars and it's pretty big. I think it's technically 30 inches and I just like the black frame. I think it's really nice and yeah that's the mirror and then here we have this drawer. This is just where I keep all of my like office supplies because if you guys watch my video is I have a bullet journal and I'm just like obsessed with it and I'm embarrassed how much I have so we're just gonna put that away. I have this mini orchid that my boyfriend got randomly and then on the other end of the windowsill I have my Miss You Already sign. My friend Christina got this for me at my old apartment when I first started my YouTube channel so this is from Target I believe. That is the entire kitchen and everything area. Now lastly let's just finish off with the living room. 
If you guys watch my videos, then you guys have seen this living room a million times, but I'm just gonna go through every single item for you guys. These two wooden C side tables, well, it's manufactured wood, but these C side tables are from Amazon. They're really cheap. I honestly wouldn't say I recommend them, but they just do the job. These coasters are from Amazon, and then my two lights are from Amazon too. I love the minimal look. This was a recommendation from my friend Kiva or DIY with KB on YouTube. So I just love like the whole entire overall industrial minimal look of the living room. It's just so nice. Not much color. There's some green, there's some plants, but more or less it's a pretty neutral apartment. My frame is so beautiful. This is actually a digital download from Etsy. I just bought it for like $3 and then printed it out on Walgreens. And then the frame itself is from Amazon. I love the frame because it's like a brushed gold and it looks really nice. And I just think it fills the space of this wall really beautifully with the windows. So that's where the frame and print is from. My couch is from Castlery. I put this together and unboxed it and everything with you guys. But around eight to nine months later, this is how it looks. It still looks literally brand new and it's literally the best couch ever. I'm gonna do a whole entire review with you guys once I've had it for a whole year, but this couch is so worth it. It literally looks like it's from West Elm, but it wasn't $4,000. I believe I paid $1,700, which is still a lot, but I think anything less than that just feels really cheap and I get compliments on my couch all the time. So I would highly, highly recommend Castlery if you're looking for a nice, affordable, but high quality couch. These velvet pillowcases are from Amazon. I just like having the velvet touch with it and I just like having them as black to keep everything neutral. My coffee table is from Amazon. This is kind of usually where I do like my editing because I have my work from home station, but more or less I usually like editing on the couch and I just have this laptop stand from Angle Studios and my laptop and then my coffee table itself is from Amazon and I really like it because it's two tier so I can keep some storage and decor on the second tier and it doesn't take up any space. So I really, really like that. I also just think it adds like more personality to the living room, which I really like. I have more candles from Kendall's Candles. I have my Fuji foam camera. I have the Tom Ford coffee table book. This is also a gift from my friend Elise. And then I just have some books. I have another pillowcase. This beautiful Monstera was a gift from my sister last Christmas and it was from Bloomscape and it's just, it's grown so much. If you guys go back to my moving vlogs and you see this plant, it's actually insane how much it's grown, but I like to keep it in the corner because honestly, it used to be on the other side and it just took up way too much space. So it's just in this corner now and that's just where it has to live. You guys, please don't tell me to do something with this because I just can't touch it, but at least it's living and it's breathing and it's really big. Another lamp here and then this throw blanket is from Amazon. I really like this green color and I believe this blanket in general was like only $12 or something. So it's really affordable. And yeah, that is everything in the couch area and my coffee table and stuff. And then on the left side, we have my floor mirror. Ideally, I would like this to be a little bit bigger too, just because honestly, it's not very big. I think that's just because every nice apartment video I see has like this giant, giant mirror. But I got this from Home Goods. I think it was less than $100 anyways. I think it was only like $80. And it does the trick if I just like position my camera low enough. But yeah, this floor mirror is from Home Goods. My whole entire work from home station, I'm not gonna talk about everything because I have a separate video going through my entire work from home setup, but I will tell you guys that both the chair and the desk are from FlexiSpot. And this is a standing desk. It's like actually just the most life-changing thing ever if you guys are working from home. But I will link the work from home setup for you guys. I have the cable management system from Amazon and I really like overall how the work from home setup looks. I have this neon light here that I got from my two friends, Ricky and Selena. I'm so grateful. It is so beautiful and it was just such a kind and generous gift from them. I can't believe it. Every time I turn it on, I just think of them and I think it's absolutely stunning. But overall, this is the work from home setup. And then lastly, on the other side, I have my bar cart, my TV, and my TV stand. So the TV stand is from, I think I got this technically from Lowe's or something, but it looks completely different than what you guys see right now. If you look closely, this is actually just peel and stick wallpaper that I did with you guys during my moving vlogs, but I wanted to keep like a gray and industrial look 
for my living space. So I just got this removable wallpaper and then I changed out the handles for black ones. They used to be like a silver. I like having the entertainment stand with drawers just because I can store away more things and it's not an eyesore. But then on the other side, I do have some display and decor areas. So this is my boyfriend's Nintendo Switch. He loves it. It's not very aesthetic, but I mean, I can't do anything about it. I have this frame here with another print from Aesthetics Frames. And then I just have my old Gucci box. This is from when I got my Gucci bag and now I just keep extra stuff in here, some notebooks, and then I do have my old laptop there. My TV itself is a 55 inch smart TV from Samsung. I got it from Best Buy. It's honestly not the best TV, but it's really big and it looks really nice. It's just that the remote and stuff is slow. So I don't know if I would recommend it, but it definitely does what it needs to. And it's really big, which is what I like. And then behind my TV, I have my LED light strips. I love these so much. These are from Govy, and I just think they're so pretty. Like at night, the light strips look so, so nice. And then lastly, we have my beautiful bar cart. This is actually the newest addition to my apartment. And I feel like this is kind of like what completed the entire area. This bar cart is also from Amazon, which is literally crazy because look at how beautiful and expensive it looks. It looks so nice. On the bottom tier, I just have my extra bottles of wine. In the middle tier, I have my wine glasses. I like having stemless glasses for guests and I just like having extra ones than the skinny ones at the top So I have extra wine glasses here and then at the top I have this plant My sister also gifted this for me and I really love it because first of all It's like the most beautiful plant ever it like looks like watercolor like not real It's so nice and I just like having more life in the apartment too So this is my beautiful plant and then I just have this tray where I keep like my airpods and my keys So that I don't lose them. This is from ankle studios and then I think that's everything. Oh, I do have a step stool just because I'm really short. I'm 5'2", so I have the step stool when I need it. That is everything. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe I just did my apartment tour. Some final thoughts about this apartment because I feel like you guys are gonna comment and ask about this. But a lot of you guys said that ideally the desk would do best in front of the window. But I decided not to do that ultimately because like I said, I wanted my apartment to be like an open living space and like an open concept. So even though ideally, yes, the desk could be in front of this window or this window, if it were in front of this window, it would be the first thing you see when you open the door. And I didn't like that. And if I put it there, then I'd have to move my entire couch to be like facing this way and then it would just feel like a lot smaller of a space. So this is kind of the only option that I had. I just like it because when I walk in, it just feels like one big open room and I really like that. And I think that honestly, I prefer it even though the desk is against a wall. It's just kind of, it's just kind of the only thing that I think I could work with with such a small space. So yeah, I did want to mention that. And then lastly, the one thing that I really wish I got and the one thing that I don't have yet, I just don't know why I haven't gotten myself to get it, is a shoe rack. If you guys remember in the beginning of the video, my shoes are kind of everywhere. And honestly, that was me cleaning it up. Usually there's like a million pairs of shoes in the entryway and it's just too much. So ideally, I would like to get a shoe rack. I think it would just be extremely useful and very functional and like it would be a smart purchase. I just don't know why I haven't gotten it yet but I do have two that I will put on the screen here that I'm considering. So let me know which one you guys think actually, and maybe it'll help me actually buy it. I'm between a typical wooden one that I would just put in my coat closet, or I did find this vertical white narrow shoe rack that I could put in front of the laundry room door and it wouldn't like close off the space that much, but I just can't decide between the two. So let me know and comment below and tell me which one I should get because I really think that's the only thing left that I really need for this apartment because the rest of it is done. Okay, well that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my apartment tour. I know you guys have been waiting so, so long for this and I'm sorry it's taken so long. It's just the shoe racks, I can't decide. But make sure you guys check out my living alone playlist. I have all my moving vlogs and like apartment decor and just life along the way of living alone and everything. And besides that, I film a lot of day in the life, work week in the life, productive vlogs, a lot of vlogs in general. Yeah, I guess that's it. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already I post new videos every Monday and Thursday I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video but until then miss you already